Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode, we're going to be diving back into the iOS 15 developer beta 1 that I installed here on this iPhone 6s in my last video, which you can check out up here in the cards if you happen to miss it. And yes, in typical MJD fashion, we had all sorts of things go wrong, but in the end, we got this beta up and running on the iPhone 6s, which is super awesome. Today though, we're going to be focusing specifically on FaceTime or at least the ability to join a FaceTime call from a Windows or an Android device, which was a feature announced by Apple at their WWDC keynote. Now, I think it's pretty clear that Apple is doing this to compete with Zoom and Microsoft Teams and all the other video chatting apps out there. So Apple wants to, to get FaceTime a little bit more market share, and to do that, they got to open it up to other platforms. But what they're not doing is porting the FaceTime application from iOS and macOS over to Android. Android and Windows. What they've done is created a web app that you can access from your browser. But to be able to access it, you have to have somebody invite you to a FaceTime call. You cannot start a FaceTime call from a Windows or an Android device. At least right now, that could certainly change in the future. But to be honest, I don't really think it's going to. And yes, I say right now, because even though iOS 15 is not going to be officially released until the fall of 2021, if you have or if you know some somebody who has a device running the iOS 15 developer beta, you can test out this feature right now. And we're going to be doing that in this video and I'll be showing you exactly how to do it. So I'm going to open up the FaceTime application here and you see we've got two buttons here, create link and new FaceTime. We're going to tap on create link to bring up the share sheet here and we can give the call a name if we want to by tapping right here. And we're just going to call this test and we'll tap OK. Now, FaceTime links, by the way, are another feature that Apple briefly talked about at WWDC, and they are exactly as the name implies. They are links that you can share with people that they can use to join your FaceTime call. And this is how you're going to do that with these Android and Windows users. So you can share the link through AirDrop, messages, mail, etc. We're just going to send it to myself through an email by tapping on my contact profile there. And this is what the default email looks like. It says, join my FaceTime. You've got the link right there sent from my iPhone or whatever signature you have in the mail app. So we're going to send it and it's an empty subject, that's fine, we'll send it anyways. And now it's off to my Windows 10 computer and we'll join the call from there. Okay, so we've got Gmail opened up here on my Windows 10 machine, so we're going to open up the message right here and click on the FaceTime link. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So it's going to open up uh, the website here. And just to point out the URL here, you can see it's facetime.apple.com slash join slash and then this long like call ID, right? So if you were to try to go to facetime.apple.com right now, it just brings you to the about page for FaceTime essentially. So again, you cannot go to this and just enter in like a meeting ID or anything like that. You have to have somebody on iOS invite you and send you a link to be able to even join a FaceTime call. But once you have someone do that, this is what you're gonna be presented with and you just enter your name. So we'll enter M here and click on continue. Now you haven't joined the call yet. Oh, and by the way, notice the beta ribbon down here at the bottom right. Yeah, it's just to let you know that this is currently in beta, but yeah, we've not, even though we've typed in our name, we haven't joined the call yet. You have to click on this join button and then it sends a request to the host to be able to let you join the call. Now back on the iPhone here, I haven't even join into the FaceTime call at all. So I'm going to do that by tapping right here and then tapping the join button at the top right. Now to let the Windows PC into the call, I have to tap up here where it says waiting for others. And you can see right here, it brings up my request. So it says M wants to join. That's the name that I used. We're going to allow him to join. And now I am in a FaceTime call uh, with myself. So you can see uh, that on the Windows PC, I can see what the iPhone camera sees. So there it is. So I can bring it over to the, uh, <laughs> to the Windows computer here. And uh, yeah, I mean, there it is, guys. That's literally all there is to it. It's very, very simple to do. And what's nice is, if you didn't already notice, I didn't need to sign in to an Apple ID on the Windows computer. You don't need to have an Apple ID 
to join a call through one of these FaceTime links. But yeah, guys, that is all there is to it. So if you were wondering if it's possible to join a FaceTime call from Android and Windows devices right now, the answer is absolutely yes, as long as you have a device running the iOS 15 developer beta. Guys, if you enjoyed this one, if you want to see more like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do multiple times every single week on this channel. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.